Hi, it's Mr. O'Connor here. Today we're going over how to process our negatives. So this particular uh, phase presumes that we've already taken our pictures, we've gotten out of the, uh, gotten them out of the camera, we've put them in the dark bag so that we could get them into a tank, and now we're over in the processing area uh, where we are going to uh, treat our film with uh, chemicals, and that's what's going to give us our final uh, negatives that we can that, that we can see. Uh, at any rate, uh, you may notice that uh, the water, ooh, someone's left the water on. That's actually me. I got the water started, it's, it's running, and I put it to a lukewarm temperature. So I put it to a temperature that feels um, just like room temperature. It doesn't feel hot, doesn't feel cold, uh, feels just right, and I've left it running there. I'm gonna continuously uh, recheck that temperature to make sure that it uh, stays uh, that in that same range, same as like room temperature. Why is it uh, room temperature? Well, we're gonna have to treat it with our chemicals and those are also about room temperature and in general it's best that the water temperature and the chemicals are about the same temperature when we do this process. Now, you'll notice actually that uh, there are some familiars uh, up here that you might recognize from the dark room. Uh, there's developer, but in this case it's not, uh, it's not photo developer, it's film developer very similar, but not quite the same. Uh, stop bath, which is the very same stop bath that we use in the darkroom, and uh, the same fix that we use uh, as well. And you can probably guess the order things go in in here, right? Uh, developer, stop bath, uh, then then fixer. And that's why these bottles have been organized this, uh, this, this way as well. Uh, first thing I've done in uh, here after setting the water is uh, you'll notice that the timer is running. And I'm going to give myself about 40 minutes, so I'm going to notch this timer up uh, just a little bit. Uh, in here. This entire process takes about 40 uh, minutes or, or, or so. Uh, so it's just a great way to keep track of um, to keep track of your class time in addition to the very crucial aspect of um, timing each one of these particular uh, phases. Folks, I realize the camera is just a little shaky in here, but uh, bear, uh, bear, bear with me. Okay, thanks. Um, so, first thing I'm going to do uh, when I actually start the uh, developing uh, process now uh, where I'm actually uh, treating with chemicals is I'm going to check my developer chart four times and in this case it's right up here uh, it's 70 degrees uh, in here uh, that's about room temperature we're going for 11 minutes and 45 uh, seconds so that's the amount of time we're treating our chemicals with uh, with the developer uh, in here okay and You'll notice that uh, I've got to um, add developer, and it's going to tell me to do a number of other steps like agitate and rinse. We'll check those out in a second. But before that, I'm going to take my tank, and again, this uh, tank has a reel of uh, film in it. It's secure. There's no light that's actually getting uh, into my tank, to my film right now, but the chemicals can go in up top. And I'm going to rinse it out a few times. So we'll do that a couple times. Is what's known as a water stop. So I'm going to rinse before and actually in between every single chemical that I do, I'm going to give a give a rinse in here uh, to make sure that the chemicals don't get adulterated. Okay, now that I've done that, I'll put my tank in the sink. I'm headed back up to my uh, developer. I'm going to take it and I'm going to pour it in. And I definitely want to fill beyond the reel, okay? So if you've got a higher tank, you're gonna have to fill it higher. You need to make sure that there's enough chemicals in here that they go beyond, um, you know, they go beyond the reel because otherwise your reel isn't getting treated with developers, so it's not gonna work at all. And remember, my um, my developer uh, uh, chart, right, is telling me that I need 11 minutes and 45 seconds. Well, that developer is in. So we've started already, and let's check out where we need to be um, we are at, we are right here, so 11 minutes is going to put us at, let's see, uh, 28, um, 27, and 45 seconds, so when the, you know, effectively when the, uh, when the, when the minute hand gets down to here, that's when I need to stop. Now, in the meantime, the second I pour my chemicals in, the hard to do filming and, uh, and to do it once, is I'm going to agitate, and I can do that either by, um, spinning, uh, the tank this way, or there's lids that we can clamp down.
and I can actually do sort of figure eights with the with the, the chemicals. And agitating means again, gen, I gently uh, you know swirl them around, uh, and I'm going to put that on down. And I'm going to do that five seconds for every thirty seconds. So every single time the clock gets to thirty. Uh, in here. I'll start again. So when it gets back to the zero, I'm going to agitate again. I'm going to do that throughout the entire duration of the 11 minutes. Now I'm going to have to fast forward here because I'm not going to keep you uh, alongside for those entire uh, 11 minutes. But when I'm done with these uh, chemicals, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pour them back into the film developer in here. Now this is a really crucial step. We want to make sure that we never pour the chemicals back into the wrong uh, container. So it's very, very important to be attentive to this because uh, if you mess this up, everybody else's film gets ruined. So if that ever happens, please just let me know. I promise not to be mad at you. Um, I'll be really grateful that you told me because it will save everybody else's film. And we'll just make new chemicals and you'll be more careful next time. All right? So we'll let that water get there. I'm going to stay organized in here and close the film developer right back up right away so it's, it's safe and sound and secure up there. By the way, we always want to be checking that developer to make sure that it is fresh. So if you're unsure, you can ask one of the, myself or one of the, the appointed chem techs in the room and they will tell you um, when the developer was last uh, mixed. Again, you want that developer to be nice and fresh because you, know, you worked hard uh, shooting your film. You want to make sure it comes out uh, just right. Same thing for all the chemicals, but especially the developer tends to go bad uh, fast. All right, so now we're going to stop bath uh, in here, and let's just check to see what it says. It says stop bath. Okay, so we're going to be doing that for six minutes. And again, I'm making making believe that we uh, that we're all, all the way you know down towards the 25 in here. So six minutes is going to put us at the 20. All right, great. Uh, let's uh, let's pour our stop bath on it to the tank. Again, make sure we cover that reel. All right, I'm going to put my uh, rubber stop on top, and stop bath invites us to agitate 15 seconds for every 30 seconds, so I'm actually going to do this 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, all the way to 15, that's, that's every 30 seconds in here, I'm agitating for uh, 15 seconds, then we'll rest, okay? All right, so when stop bath is, is done, of course, we pour it back into the stop bath, uh, that's going to bring us to our fixer phase. Again, check the fixer. Uh, it's fixer is also six minutes, but it's agitate ten seconds every fifteen seconds. When we are all um, when we are all done in here, let me pour my um, let me stop that back. Put the camera down for a second and very carefully. You don't have to take the lid off to pour these back now. You just it right back in. I've been checking my water the whole time too. It still feels nice and lukewarm. Here, so stop at that's going back in. Caps on tight, right? That would bring us to the fixer stage, right? And when we're all done, um, we can either leave our tank under the water like this for 15 minutes, or if there's multiple people to, uh, that are processing that day, what you could do is open your tank up entirely. You know, put a tray down and let the water run over your film for 15 minutes. Now, this is a much slower phase, right, than uh, if you're developing. So you do have to be attentive to the time, but there's ways that you can work together. And, you know, to eat up time while you're waiting, uh, instead of just idly twiddling your thumbs or or sneaking a video game in or something, um, why not wipe the wipe the counters down, make sure your tanks are put away. So clean up as you go. You're expected to clean up after yourself in here. Um, you put the tanks over on the drying rack. You can see those are nice and neat and organized at the, at the moment. All right. So once that has um, sat under the water uh, long enough, we'll take our negatives uh, off of our reel. We'll just gently pull, pull them off. And then we're going to bring them over to what I call the Farkle cabinet in here. This is why I call it the Farkle cabinet, because there's the Farkle ladies inside. Uh, and um, we're going to... 
if you can, uh, right away, you can use a paper clip and a tag to label your, your negatives. Do take a look at them. Um, make sure that you recognize them. Make sure that you're, they're, they're yours beforehand. Lastly, if you need to speed up this process at all, you can turn the um, you can turn the heat and the air on in the Farkle cabinet. That's going to make uh, things dry off uh, a little bit faster. Okay, it's finally time to turn that water off. Thanks for following us, uh, Mr. O'Connor again, and that is how we process.